Hi guys and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. So today guys we are talking about paracord, uh, the importance of it, what it really is and uh, I'll show you guys around it if you guys have never used it before. So I do realise some of you guys are new preppers or new bushcrafters and you want to start getting into this so I'll show you because uh, a lot of people go on about paracord how amazing it is and some of the paracord bracelets. If I just get chuck one of those bracelets I can show you one of those. Um, but yeah so we've got uh, <coughs> some of these here guys. Uh, these are power cord bracelets, um, you can buy these on eBay, Amazon, uh, people make them themselves, I, I make mine myself, um, this is what they call here, this is what they call a cobra stitch, see that one, uh, it's in like a normal grey one, and it does come with a survival whistle on there as well, I should have only around, but, spin it around, ah, there we go, yeah, that's got a survival whistle on it as well, as you can see there, see that? That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's a, just an average uh, King uh, normal Cobra Stitch. Now this is a King Cobra Stitch, so it's the, a bigger, fatter version of that. As you can see, this is all in black. And you can mix your colours and all the rest of it. Uh, it does get quite technical and quite hard to mix colours and stuff. So my missus does it all. She makes all mine for me. She's real, real good at it. Um, at making all these, um, all the paracord bracelets and stuff. So, um, it's showing you my box. It's like my paracord box. I bought this box for like 89p. It's amazing, guys. That's budget prepping for you right there. 89p, guys, for this one. Um, so this is like the back paracord I use the most for everything, for bushcraft, for... Um, anything, I've put a shower up, anything like that, this is what I normally use, just a black one, because I've got so much of it. Um, yeah, the black one, and you can buy like a spool tool, which is like a, a proper thing that goes round, that you put power cord round, but it's about uh, 40 quid just for one spool tool. So, I just wrap this round, because I'm a budget prepper, guys, um, like a, a tin foil or a, um, or a, what, what do they call it, a clean film uh, tube and I've just cut one of the uh, half in half and then wrapped it around that and that works fine guys it's just so I can unravel it and use what I need and then it's um, still on there so that's that one guys so we've got black uh, and like I said you get them in so many different patterns and colours nowadays uh, in here I keep I've got a work in progress on, on a new uh, on a new uh, which quite bracelet and then I've also got in here some belt buckles uh, some of the buckles as well so I've just, I keep some of them, and you can buy all the, all the buckles and all the power cord, it's really cheap, like a hundred foot of this, you can get that on eBay for uh, around about 275 or 375 something like that, uh, around about a two, three quid mark, um, so it's not expensive at all uh, for a hundred foot of it, and then I bought, believe it or not, I bought 10 of these buckles for 99p, it's amazing, that was on Amazon, so I got some uh, hundred foot of grey here, this is just a great power cord. All the power cord uh, is essentially exactly the same, just obviously different colours. But it's all built exactly the same and all the rest of it. Unless you buy Chinese shit. But this is produced in England and all the rest of it. So when you're buying it, uh, make sure you buy it like produced in America or in England so you know it's not produced in China and made. Because I've had that before and uh, you get like power cord that's only got like three inner strands and it's not proper type three 550 power cord. So guys, yeah, like this is uh, the lime green, or the luminous green, whatever you call it. It's a bright colour. So you can mix all these up and that. Uh, you fuse them together, like melt them together when you melt them. But um, first of all, guys, about the power cord. Um, this is called 550 power cord. And uh, you might hear some people chat about that. And one the reason it's called 550 is it can take 550 pounds of weight and of pressure before it breaks. That's his breaking point. Um, it's very popular because of the high weight and the high resistance it can take. Um, as you can see guys, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on this, I can pull this all day long, this will take my body weight, believe it or not, a uh, thin piece of this, like this, it, it, it's unbelievable actually, I, for the, what it looks like, it doesn't think, you don't think it could take so much weight, but it can, that's why it's so popular with the military and uh, paratroopers, because it's used for, in their um, parachute cord, or skydivers and stuff like that, all parachutes use uh, the same power cord, um, because it obviously is so strong, um, and the reason what makes it so strong, I will show you. But yeah, that's it's called Type Three Five Fifty Power Cord. So when you're looking for power cord, that's what you need to look for. Five Fifty uh, Type Three Five Fifty Power Cord, and then that'll make sure you get the right uh, stuff. We got here. 
I know what makes it so strong guys, I'll just cut this bit off because I've melted it down. When you're finished with it and you melt the end, which I'll show you guys in a minute, and uh, like push it together or push it against something, make it flat so it doesn't all unravel. And the reason I do that, I'll show you, is because the outer casing or the sleeve, some people call it, outer casing, sleeve, whatever you're calling it, um, holds uh, these inner strands as we can see here. Camera can see those. Um, so there's a few of these inner strands and this is what gives it a strength. Look. So even if the, uh, a bit of the cord is severed, it's still got other strands here um, holding it together. And these strands are made up of several other smaller strands. So it's really uh, technical stuff. And you can use these inner strands for um, sewing, fishing, um, loads of different stuff like that. So it's great for survival and stuff like that. This is why so many preppers and bushcraft shoot power cord um, and carry the power cord bracelets because like you said, you can use it for putting shelters together, fishing, once you get the inner strands out, loads of stuff, so that's why it's so popular. Um, but yeah, and these on their own, these can take a lot of pressure before breaking, um, as you can imagine. Because obviously all together, they can hold 550 pounds of pressure, or weight. Yeah guys, so, and that's the case in, so, and they can come unraveled, and that's why a lot, of, um, that's why everybody, so once you've got it like this, just, uh, camera can see that I'm not sure if I'm out of shot at the moment guys it might be out of shot but so you just melt it down and then stab it down lit your fingers a bit and and then melt it back down Woo! that's hot Woo that's warm god damn it sorry about the noise guys that's the baby um am I in shot yeah I'm in shot that's great so uh, yeah, so you melt that back down and then you're away and then that's not all coming undone and all the inner strands aren't coming out. Because as I said, uh, we've got all these inner strands and they tend to just slip out or get in the way and it all gets a bit messy. So it is a good idea to melt them back down and uh, get all put back together nicely. But yeah, so you've got so many options with this guys for sewing, like I said, fishing, uh, putting shelters together, um, tying things um, to your pack. Um, anything like that, M making um, rafts, whatever you're doing in a survival situation, this stuff um, is just redundant, it is amazing, like, you need this gear for uh, everyday carry, um, I carry these, I carry at least two of these, but this is about 20 to 30 foot power cord on here, is it, yeah, am I right? But about that sort of length is a lot guys, um, but my missus makes them toss it to, my, to what I need. So uh, if I carry one or two, um, if I carry multiple, then obviously I've got so much extra power cord on me. But I'm always carrying one, just because I said, guys, they're so, uh, obviously you don't even know you've got them on. And the the benefits it would have in a SHTF or a survival situation would be, is unreal. Uh, for like I said, shelters, fishing, loads of different stuff. They're super, super important, guys. It's uh, massively important to prep this stuff. And like I said, it's cheap, guys. Super affordable. And then all you need is to get yourself a disposable lighter just for burnt singe in the end. And obviously, some, you've got some scissors just to cut it. Um, that's it, really, guys. Like I said, it's 550. Um, type 3 military grade power cord. That's super, really important when you're buying it. And to make sure that you're sourcing it from the right place. And it's not knockoff, like, copy shit, which you can get a lot of on eBay and Amazon and stuff. So it's really important to make sure it's the 550 Type 3 military grade power cord. Um, that's it really guys, like I said, you get loads of colours, um, loads of stuff. Um, so make sure you um, like this video and subscribe and all the rest of it. And uh, leave some comments beneath in the crotch box. And uh, I'll in the description, I'll leave my Facebook link. Um, because I've only got a few friends, I mean, I get some more friends on there, guys. Um, but yeah, before I go, guys, if you're not involved in the competition already, uh, go back to my channel, check out my, uh, watch all my videos, and then once you've done all that, and you've enjoyed your night, you've had the best night of your life, because you've watched all Bristol Preppers videos, um, go on to my giveaway video, which is a 100 subscribers giveaway, uh, and then go on there and follow the steps, and be involved in the competition, guys. I'm giving away a Leatherman Sidekick, and a Red Power Core Bracer. Um, with a metal buckle instead of a plastic one. It's one of the real good metal, uh, like, you can change the sizes on it, buckles, which is really good. So, uh, yeah, if you want to be involved in that competition, go back to that, like I said, on to the 100 subscribers giveaway video, and get involved, guys, get involved. And then, uh, that's it, like I said, Facebook, like, subscribe, smash those buttons, and we can be friends. Um, but yeah, guys, I was planning on today, before, last thing before I go, I was planning on today going out, 
and uh, doing a like a bushcrafty and uh, out in the woods video in the wild. Um, but things got in the way, and uh, my little one was ill, so some stuff got in the way, so I ha haven't been able to do that. But I will get out as soon as possible, guys. Um, like I said, I got a new job, and um, so it has been. I haven't been able to get outside lately, but. I was planned on it today, like I said, got in the way because it was ill. So I will do it as soon as possible, get out and make loads more videos for you guys. I'm planning on doing trap videos, showing you guys how to do snares, um, loads of different types of traps and snares, uh, reviewing more knives, loads of different stuff. Um, hopefully we've got the Condor uh, bush lore coming soon, um, and so loads of different shit coming in soon. So just stay tuned, guys, and we can uh, enjoy our time together. As always, guys, stay prepared, and I'll see you guys another day, another way.